Before we start this video, I just want to give a quick update here for the truck series that is coming up next season. We do have a sponsor, as you see here. It will be the NSDCA Crown Royal Truck Series here for the NSDCA. Of course, uh, you guys will know more details about that now, but here's the logo. Thank you guys and enjoy the race. Hello everyone and welcome to race number 5 this season here at the Gateway International Speedway. 36 drivers, of course, just like every other week here in the ARCA series, will be taking on 31 laps at Gateway. As this track was one of the least fan favorites last season, the uh, distance has been shortened from its original 38 laps to an, a now a 31 lap race. Of course, you remember last season Carson Bowers and Randy Kaiser, their battle at the end of the week. You see on the front row Tyler Jones, who missed out at Road America, and Alex Kraft leaning him on. And now you see here the top 10 in points right now with Aiden Burkhardt still on top. Aiden is going to be rolling off 31st tonight here at Gateway. That is a very big gap for him, but Carson Bowers, you see, see it starting 14th. He will be the one only six points back to try to contend, while Jacob Edson, who is eight points back, will be in um, 16th. But one more thing here. Look at that top 10. You have Anthony Lehman in that white 07 down there, sitting fourth, unsponsored. This car has not made a race all season long. Sam Picard gave up his ride this weekend for the 07, so, or no, uh, sorry, Picard did not have the ride, Lehman had the ride for this weekend, Picard wanted to race, he chose the 39 over the 07, now Picard failed to qualify in that 39, Anthony Lehman rolls off in fourth, but you also see young Brady Burkhart, the fan favorite, everyone's been waiting for him to get his victory, he will be rolling off in the fifth position. You see Zachary DeLillo, Ryan Butcher also inside of these top three rows. Drivers, start your engines. Engines are fired here at Gateway. And you see the running order, the uh, starting grid will roll off your screen. But you see it's Tyler Jones and Alex Kraft on row one. Ryan Butcher and Anthony Lehman row two. Burkhart and DeLillo row three. Smith, Nosler row four. Stapleton and Morris in row five. Now... This is the first of three of four Dash for Cash races. Right now, the Dash for Cash drivers are Brandon Morris. Of course, uh, before we go on to saying them, the top five from Bristol advanced to this. So Brandon Morris rolls off in 10th. But the next person back, Logan Cloud in 22nd. Logan was not supposed to drive here in this 04 car. This weekend, he is... Uh, he was traded with Tib Foster. Foster will be driving Kentucky instead uh, of Gateway. So Foster only makes two starts in these first uh, five races, while Cloud makes four. And then uh, after that, starting in the 27th position is Logan Bradley in the 09. Of course, he is one of the top 30 in points. Also, uh, quick mention, Casey Mears finally making a start this season. He will be rolling off in 26th. Uh, but the final two, Aiden Burkhart rolls off 31st. Of course, your Bristol winner and, the, and Tony Green, who finished 5th, he's rolling off 36th. So right now, Brandon Morris in 10th, and the rest of those Dash for Cash guys seated outside of the top 25. Except Logan Cloud, sorry, top 20. But we're coming around the long turn onto the front straightaway. Clay Motorsports' is Carson Bowers won this race last season, and it's starting on pole today with Tyler Jones. Here we go, coming down the front straightaway. For the first time at 31 laps, green flag is in the air here at Gateway. Jones with a big jump. Alex Kraft does not get going. You see, though, Burkhart. Burkhart's trying to make a move inside of Ryan Butcher. Uh, Kraft up the track, off the corner, two and three wide down the back straightaway. Big, big hard race in here. Butcher into second and Brady Burkhart into third. Brady, last season, had no DNFs. This season he has two, but Toyota has been kind to him as he's gotten some very strong finishes. Now he moves for second under Ryan Butcher. Nothing there as it will be Tyler Jones leading the 36 car field off of turn number two, four. So Tyler Jones will lead lap number one. You see Butcher into second, Burkhardt third, Alex Kraft all the way back to fourth, and now Patrick Smith for Ange Auto Racing in the 75 car. Let me take the FPS off. In the 75 car, he will be struggling. Uh, he will be not struggling. The team is struggling. But he is not. The 75 team right now up in fifth. He was the highest driver in points for Andrado. Now Peter 
is the uh, highest one. But Patrick back up here in this top five. He is contending. You see Nathan Stapleton in sixth. Of course, look behind him at Matty Porta in that Toshiba 20 the last time these two were on track together. Stapleton dove it, made a three-wide move with Porta at Road America. I don't think anyone would have been mad at that if he was able to stick it and not do what he did. But Matty Porta right now, he's up to eighth and chasing down this 97. Matty Porta was unhappy. After Road America, he went after the 97 car pushed him into the outside wall and that was all they wrote but uh no penalties to the 20 and 97 off of that uh stapleton has been put on probation though in this 97 car one more for uh two races he is on probation for rough driving as it was deemed that the 97 did that on purpose pushing the 20 car out right now stapleton into the sixth position knows that he has to stay away from that 20 car Matty Porter right now in seventh. Back up to the battle for the race lead. Now Tyler Jones has Ryan Butcher all over his back bumper. Neither of these drivers have won a race in the series before. Tyler Jones, of course, is right now 32nd in points. Ryan Butcher is 38th. A win for both of them means that they will be able to... They might, not will, but they might be able to actually make it into races now butcher has not missed a race yet this season despite being outside of the top 30 in points but tyler jones of course lost uh road america back in third brady burkhart and this dairy queen toyota for burkhart morris motorsports his team of burkhart maurice motorsports swept the first three races this season and now brady is looking to get a move on here at gateway patrick smith gets into the back of him a little bit going through the corner and now wait real quick battle for the race lead here at Gateway, and it is Ryan Butcher to the inside of Tyler Jones. As we said, a win for both of them would be huge, and right now it will be Butcher. Drag race down the back straightaway for the race lead. Alex Kraft Stapleton. You look at Anthony Lehman in that all-white car back there in seventh, but this is the battle that everyone's waiting to see. Last season at Gateway. Gateway was moved from the tenth race of the season now to the fifth, so a boring race like this track isn't big in the championship hunt. Last season, it was all Randy Kaiser out in front until the last two laps where Carson Bowers shot out of a cannon, got to the inside of him, and went on to win the race on a last lap pass. Now, Brady Burkhart there. Stapleton moves Alex Kraft out of the way. Tyler Jones is going to be clear, but Stapleton moved that 36 out of the way. That is some <laughs> aggressive driving by Stapleton. Could that be a penalty? Uh, the NSDCA is going to have to watch and take a look at that, but uh, right now... They have given him a warning, and Ryan Butcher for the race lead once again. Look at Brady Burkhardt here. He's sitting there in third. Can Brady get up there and win a race? Right now, this top five, top seven, the top nine in this race. Oh, that's some bad camera angles. But the top nine in this race have not won a race. Butcher to the race lead. Here comes Brady Burkhardt. The top nine, as we were saying, have never won a race in the NSDCA. And now Tyler Jones is shuffled back to third. He tries on the outside of Burkhart. We're going to get a flyby here as they go through the corner. Some heavy and fast racing already. Brady Burkhart clears the second, and there's Stapleton to third. Porta's fallen back. Kalen Nosler, 11th, defending race winner. Defending uh, race winner this season and the gateway winner from last season, Carson Bowers. You also see Blake Maurice in that 11. Jeff McReynolds making his second start this season. Sebastian Kukulon getting real close to that 29 car. Also, there's uh, Sean Sam Ard. But right now, let's take a quick look at the dash for cash drivers right now as Brandon Morris, with that pass on McReynolds, puts him into 17th. Then it is, uh, oh, jeez, all the way back to Logan Bradley in 28th. Logan Cloud in 30th. Casey Mears back in 32nd, ripped to his race. And Tony Green in 35th. So these guys all having to try to contend uh, for this race. Sorry, we did not have the ticker on. Uh, okay, I guess this is a 30, 38 lap race still, but Ryan Butcher leading him. Brady Burkhart into second, chasing him down. Tyler Jones now has the move on Nathan Stapleton. Alex Kraft there in that 36 car. This is the battle for the third position as they come through the corner. Stapleton got moved up. Alex Kraft to his inside. Patrick Smith on the outside, or on the middle there. Right now, Anthony Lehman's going to dive to the inside of the 75, battle into the race lead. Big move by Lehman, but a great job. Let's just point out this 07 car has been running very well. This race qualified in fourth, 
right now running 7th, Lehman looking like he could be a big contender. Uh, you guys will notice a jump there. I had to uh, set my ticker up, so sorry guys. A little late there, but uh, yeah. Ryan Butcher right now in the race lead. Brady Burkhart closing in in second. Brady, this is the closest he's ever been to a cup se in, into an ARCA Series victory. His best finish, of course, third at Daytona last season and at Dover last season. Right now, Burkhart in second, holding off Tyler Jones right now. These guys are all battling hard for this race victory. This is already a more exciting race than Gateway last season as we've already had a, a pass early on. But Ryan Butcher, of course, he won. Or he was one of the final four at Martinsville that had a ch chance at the championship. He was fourth in points, 20 points back, just barely able to make it as Tyler Jones makes a move on Burkhardt for second. Ryan Butcher, of course, he got involved in an incident just like pretty much everyone else at Martinsville and lost it pretty early on. So Butcher really wants to see his team do good this season. Uh, Tyler Jones, we're just going to take you through the field here. Tyler Jones into second, the 19 team. Of course, last season was a mediocre team, 18th, um, mostly around 18th or 19th in points all season long. Only one race was he contending, and that was at Daytona. Right now, Tyler Jones in second, We're doing very well here in this 19 car. The target uh, Toyota for Clay Motorsports with Carson Bowers. Uh, Tyler really trying to show that he deserves a ride on a top-tier team like this. Brady Burkhardt in third, the fan favorite, of course, in his Dairy Queen colors for this season. The Dairy Queen 99 has ran a few races, but both of them he blew a motor in. Piston problems for both of those. Right now he is in third. What is going to take him away from a good finish this time? He is also one of the drivers that has fallen outside, or that is almost on the uh, bubble of falling outside the top 30. A top three run right now is doing him very well. Patrick Smith back in fourth for a failing Ange Auto team this season. Patrick Smith is the one good thing about it. No offense to Peter Onjak, but his cars have not been performing where they did last season with that 44 car. Of course, Patrick Smith right now in fourth. He was the strong driver, strongest driver on Andre Auto for the beginning of this season. And Patrick Smith uh, right now looking like this could be the race for him to get back into the championship hunt, even though he's fallen to 26th in points. Alex Kraft as well. This is his first time running a full schedule and his first time on his own team. This 36 team with the Snap-on sponsorship for this season. He's right now in fifth on Jones Racing Inc. for the um, for AJ Jones. Right now, Alex Kraft in fifth. Anthony Lehman. He just he was one of the last drivers to sign up for the 07 car, and of course that's why he got in a car that finished 23rd in points last season, dead last. Right now, Lehman is showing that it isn't the car. It might just be drivers that have dri driven in it. Alex or uh, Matty Porta last season did not do good in this car. Sam Picard has not qualified a, for a race yet, and by failing to qualify in that 39, it might be showing that Picard is just not strong enough right now. And now Anthony Lehman in sixth. Could this be the biggest day of his career, and could this get these... Uh, team scouts talking for these owners because if this guy can drive this car of all of all cars into a top 10 run that could be a very big potential for a champion Nathan Stapleton of course in seventh the 97 car has not been uh, has not been clean the last few races you saw earlier in this race he moved Alex Kraft out of the way Kraft of course is back around him but Stapleton really he needs to start watching how he's driving this 97 car, of course, at Road America, everyone remembers that feud between him and Porta from last week. And right now, Stapleton in 7th, doing everything he can to try to make these NSDA officials happy. In 8th is Zachary DeLello. DeLello had the pole, uh, had a pole run in qualifying earlier on uh, yesterday. But in round 2, he failed. He dropped down to start top 10 only instead of a pole. Zachary DeLello, of course, has the pull at Daytona this season. This 57 car has been pretty consistent all season long. Has been running up front very strong tonight and looking for another top 10 finish. Matty Porta, of course, his career high finish before Road America was 8th. Uh, at Road America, now 
He finished inside the top five, finished fourth in that race. Some right side damage to that 20 car already. So it looks like Porta's been getting into the wall. He walks it up the track once again. But Matty Porta has been a strong contender this season. He's been up front battling. And this Toshiba number 20, of course, with the rivalry last week, might have given him a bit of an immunity against Nathan Stapleton. And 10th, of course, your Las Vegas winner, Blake Maurice. Blake did not make Daytona, and everyone thought that he would not be a contender for the championship. Right now, Blake Maurice is in the top five in points with this Xbox 11. Him and Aiden Burkhart have put on the dominant dynasty this season, winning three out of the first four races. Of course, this track is very hard to pass, so most likely it will not be a win today for Blake Maurice, but a top 10 for that team would give them so much. And this team, with how they've been doing this season, could end up straight into the truck series. Back up front, as we've been just talking about that, Ryan Butcher has pulled away to a 1.4 second lead, and it looks like the switch to Ford might be getting better here for this 01 team. After last season's heartbreak at Martinsville, right now a win would mean everything for Ryan Butcher in the Chevron Doritos 01. And of course, uh, after last season losing out Brad Cheston due to a rule in the book, Cheston's 86 car being taken out. He had to find someone else to fill his team, and he picked Randy Kaiser. Kaiser right now 23rd at the track that he almost dominated to the win last season. Butcher right now is very proud of this car. Can't wait to see him in victory lane. Now there's a few people we got to mention here. We're going to go right on back as Anthony Lehman also has made it into the top five. There is the guy that is in the dash for cash points lead right now. Brandon Morris in the 17th position made a move on Yo. For, I think that was for 16th. This must be for 15th on Bowers, but this 55 car, he started in the top 10. He started 10th. Right now, Brandon Morris was the only one inside the top 20 in the dash for cash. Right now, this 55 car running very strong, very solid, and finally having the good day that this 55 needs. Of course, the prize for getting the dash for cash, the one upgrade point. And now another driver who's having a good day. Colton Yo in this 86. Again, it is a battle between him and Eli Bright for this for the JJ Motorsports spots next season. Maybe both of them will make it in if Riley Spurley Tube can advance to the truck series. So, oh my god, Sean Ard. Sean Ard, let's just point that out. He just made a huge move. That's two spots on JJ Motorsports, of all people. So a huge move by Sean Ard there in that 27 making his second start this season. But again, back to Colton Yo in this 86 car. Right now, he is fighting Eli Bright. Eighth position was where he finished at Las Vegas. Jay Jefferson took note of that, and he's been watching. And you see Jay is really studying that 86 car because he can't get past his, his own car. But right now, Colton Yo holding strong. Eli Bright has one DNQ this season and has been involved in three wrecks already. There you see Yepes back there in that 77 as well, Jeff McReynolds. Now let's take a look here at Casey Mears, of course. Of course, a lot of people were yelling at me about making the exception, but what can you do when this driver is the one and only Kamikaze Games? Right now, Casey Mears in this 52 car, he's going to get moved out of the way by Jacob Edson, but in his first race this season, battling in the 24th position with Edson right now, Casey Mears has had a struggling season, Qualified, attempted to qualify for both. For all, Daytona, Las Vegas, and Bristol did not make any of them. Gateway finally made it in, so he'll get some points. But this 52 car is not strong enough. He's hoping that next season he can get on a stronger team, be able to drive his way to victories. Now further back, the rest of the dash for cash is we are flying through this weight race almost to the end of it. And we'll get back up. Ten la last few laps will be in the race lead. But Logan Bradley right now sits second in the dash for cash. Second doesn't matter in this dash for cash race. Right now, Logan Bradley is in the 20, uh, 26th position. Uh, he is fighting Kev Shearer, and Shearer has been miles ahead of this 07, 09 team of uh, Logan Bradley. Bradley and Shearer are both near each other in points. Both have finished strong, and Bradley even has the win in the duels, but right now the 09 team is the big battle for that spot. And Peter Onjak, we just got to point out, he is right now 27th. His season of struggles continues. And it looks like Peter Onjak is having just the worst career uh, season right now. Of course, only two seasons, but 
This 44 team has been struggling all race long. They said the car is very, very tight in traffic, and that's all he's been in today. There you see Aiden Burk Burkhardt, two-time winner this season. But it's looking like that could be just a fluke for Daytona, of course, and Bristol. Bristol, he qualified up front, but right now the last three races, the other three, Las Vegas, Road America, and Gateway, he has qualified sub-30s in each of those races. And right now, as you see, he punts Peter Onjak up the track. This pack of cars really battling hard here. And finally, um, Logan Cloud. He started this race in 22nd. He's fallen back to 30th. Him and Tib Foster are battling for this uh, 40 for the spot in the 44 car next season. Right now, Logan Cloud showing that he is not really performing as well. But neither Logan Cloud or Tip Foster have ran well except for Bristol. And Daytona. Okay, Cloud has been pretty good. There you see Johnny Zod, Peter Onjak's least favorite uh, fan. And JJ Motorsports, look at that right now in 32nd for Riley Sperly Tube. He's been having a problem all race long here. And right now, he is nowhere near his uh, JJ Motorsports teammates as he tries to make a move on Johnny Zod. Nothing there. This 28 team's been struggling all race. And Tony Green started 36th, right now running 36th. He's not making the dash for cash. But here we go. Coming down, it'll be 7 to go next time by. And Tyler Jones has reeled back in this 01 car. Exactly what Carson Bowers did last season. Bowers jumped the race leader, Ryan Butcher, early. Where are they? the rest of the field oh my god Matty Porta's in the wall further back Brady Burkhardt's been dropping back we missed a lot up front sorry we had about 20 laps to see in other drivers in the top 10 but this is the battle remember last season this could be this could be gateway season one but the sequel I mean it is at the same track with the same move Ryan Butcher has Randy Kaiser on his team Randy Kaiser was in this position last year leading most of the race second place is Tyler Jones. He's running for Clay Motorsports, which is Carson Bowers' team. Bowers did the same thing to Randy Kaiser. Well, not the same thing. They, he hasn't done it yet. But ba Bowers passed Randy Kaiser, coming to the white flag, took the lead, and won the race. Tyler Jones right now, he started on pole right now, running second. This could be the battle for the win. But look at Anthony Lehman now, bringing the 07. That's a battle for the third position. What a move by this 07 team. Impala Racing has not made a race yet this season. And they're battling inside this top five with some of the best. Patrick Smith, Nathan Stapleton, Zachary DeLello still there in that 57. He's been on the decline every race. Uh, Daytona, he ran a top five, but then Las Vegas and Bristol, he fell back to 20th in points. Road America top five brought him back up there. And right now a top five run possibly right here could be big. Now you see AJ Jones, Carter Friesen have brought it in the top 10. Brandon Morris right now 11th. Brady Burkhardt's starting to fall back. I think he has a little bit of damage to the right side of that car. We'll have to see after the race what happened to the 99. And Matty Porta, so it must have been those two. They've fallen back. Carson Bowers as well. Diego Yepes, Jay Jefferson. Casey Mears up to 22nd. So the 52 car is moving up. Congratulations to that team. But let's go back up and watch this battle for the win. But it's not really a battle anymore. Ryan Butcher is gone. He has checked back out to a almost second lead on Tyler Jones. We'll get a flyby here in the field. Coming around to the final uh, final few laps so you can see where your favorite driver is, where you are, whatever you want to see here. Coming to the final laps, whereabout they'll be. Matty Porta has really just fallen back. Yep, as goes wide. See this pack of cars there. Peter Onjak getting tight again. Zod and Spurly too badly further back. Henderson, Hamill, Green. So there's your 36 cars that are still in this race. And it is all Ryan Butcher, the leader here. Tyler Jones in second. It doesn't look like... They're going to get their top five are now spread uh, spread out. But you see Zachary DeLello has gotten around Nathan Stapleton. DeLello looking for his second top five this season. Could this be a championship season for the underdog of Zachary DeLello? Last season he was very struggling except for a few races. But right now it's sixth. He's been strong the past two races at Road America, Bristol, and of course at Daytona. He led a lot, had the pole. Right now DeLello's season has turned around. He's doing very well. Like Maurice, that's the battle for seventh between Maurice and and Kraft, Kraft is also outside of the top 30. He really needs a strong top 10 run. Maurice is moving, though. Look at this 11 team. He's been really showing that he's a strong driver. Him and Aiden Burkhart, two very strong prospects heading into the Burkhart Maurice Motorsports team. Uh, fielded by Brandon Morris and Brady Burkhart. Of course, the shop is the same for both of them. And they are getting Burkhart Morris uh, Motorsports cars. But it looks like uh, Blake and Aiden have more talent than their older counterparts. 
And now you see Ryan Butcher. We're going to be coming to the credit one, one to go here. Ryan Butcher has checked out to a 2.2 second lead over Tyler Jones. Through the corner, he's going to go very wide. Very, very wide. Tires is starting to leave him at lap 38. But here we go. Coming around to the credit one. One to go here at uh, here at Gateway. Ryan Butcher has held the lead for a long, long time. This 0-1 team has been struggling all season long outside of the top 35 in points. Butcher has DNF twice. This 0-1 team needs this win. He's never won in the series before except in the clash earlier this season. For the final time through three and four, he's almost into the wall, riding the cushion like Kyle Larson here at Gateway. But coming around for the final time, it will be Ryan Butcher winning at Gateway. Tyler, J Tyler Jones second, Patrick third, Lehman fourth, and Stapleton fifth. <laughs> Great job, Ryan Butcher. Career win number one. He f he will be in the all-star race now. Locked in. Great job for this 0-1 team. And it's even bigger than the all-star race. He's going to be back inside that top 30. Hopefully, Tyler Jones comes up short second. But that'll help him into the top 30. Uh, 30. Patrick Smith in third, carrying the orange auto flag once again. But Anthony Lehman in fourth. A huge, huge run. Starts and finishes right where he did. Fourth position. So the 0-7 team might have a star prospect on their hands right there. Stapleton ends up fifth, Delello sixth, Murray seventh, and it will be Brandon Morris taking home the Dash for Cash race number one here at Gateway. Next time, this is also a qualifying race for the Dash for Cash, so that means Ryan Butcher, Tyler Jones, Patrick Smith, Anthony Lehman, and Nathan Stapleton will be battling next time. Brady Burkhardt 14th, Yo 16th. And the next highest up, Casey Mears will come home in 22nd. A great job for that 52 team. So a lot of strong drivers and a lot of surprises here at Gateway as a lot of the top tier drivers fell to the back. Thank you guys for watching. Race number five here at Gateway. I believe next week is Iowa. We'll see these cars. Let's see if we can get a finish just like last season there at Iowa. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.